Alexander Povetkin versus Dillian White. Uh, fundamentally, in my opinion, Povetkin is more tight. Dillian White seems to drop his hands after he lets his combinations loose. But he has been throwing some very accurate looking combinations lately. He also has been working that body very good. In my opinion, Povetkin has good durability. And he also has uh, better fundamentals, as I mentioned. He keeps his hands up and he keeps his chin tucked when he's attacking and when he's in defense. Uh, Dillian White, sometime when he's attacking, he leaves his chin in the air and he forgets to bring his hands back home. Um, he has been attacking that body very well, but I don't believe that he could attack the body so uh, recklessly against Alexander Povetkin. Um, he's a somewhat accurate puncher, and he's also a somewhat explosive puncher. Um, explosively, both of these fighters, in my opinion, are on the same level, and they both have a ton of power. Um, if they catch you with too many flush shots, in my opinion, either one of these fighters could both have you hurt, but I do feel as though Povetkin might hit just a little bit harder, and I feel like his technique is just a little bit tighter. Um, Dillian White has been throwing some very vicious and long combinations. Um, he's really been letting his hands go, and his hands do look faster, especially for this waiter, this uh, weight class of weather heavyweights. Um, this is a very good fight. I feel like it's a 50-50 fight. And, um, you know, if I have to lead towards anybody, I guess I would lead towards Pavetkin a little bit just for the defense, but I feel like it's a 50-50 fight.